Ladies and gentlemen, he has done it again. The mayor of Johannesburg has done it again. Just watch, just watch. Today I was in a meeting with, with one of the stakeholders. Um, in that meeting, I've, 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 I was able to secure a prospect of about 9.5 billion, where this company says, we are willing to give you this uh, a loan, uh, but it will come in a form of a finance model when you're taking a finance. So it comes at a, uh, an interest rate of about 2%. You only pay 2% for the period of five years without paying the amount of the loan. It's only the, the, the percentage. And then after five years, then you will pay for the next 15 years. So these are the discussions. So that what is this for? What, what, what would this loan potentially be for? It is for service delivery issues. It is for technologies, for smart city, where we can deploy. What smart city? A, a decade ago, we were talking about the installation of CCTV cameras in the city of Johannesburg. A few weeks ago, you signed a new memorandum of understanding, again, around cameras. And Correct. we see those cameras capturing crime that you are doing very little about because the inner city right now is such a dangerous place that people who don't have to be there don't venture there. You're so correct. how is it helping us? You are correct. Remember, I'm not in the office for the past decade. I'm only a month. No, no, no. And, I'm and, saying and, this started correct. more than a decade ago. All right. You have belatedly yeah. about two, three weeks ago, Correct. signed a new memorandum of understanding. Correct. And yet we don't see the return on investment. There is. Where? There is in the city. Where, where Mr. <laughs> Mayor? How many people have you convicted as a result there of is. the installation of that technology? There is a few of them. What I, is a few? I, I'm telling you there is a few. Well, first and foremost, there are real concerns about whether or not the mayor does have an understanding of all of the numbers and all of the financial obligations that he's entering into. It may seem like 2% is a small amount, but when it pertains to 9.5 billion, that 2% begins to make a massive impact on the city budget. So it's not a small amount at all, and it's not a small percentage. You know, 10% is a lot when you're talking about 100 rands, but 2% is still a lot when you're talking about billions. That's number one. Number two, I think it's fair to ask the effectiveness of this particular CCTV campaign and whether or not there've been real arrests. And it's clear that the mayor doesn't know the numbers because he would have been able to say, we have 100 cameras over here. And as a result of those cameras being there, we got X amount of arrests. He clearly doesn't know. And Sakina, I think is unimpressed because she sits and speaks to all of these people all of the time and has a institutional memory because this is probably not the first time she's interviewed a politician who's telling her about smart cities, CCTV and all of that. The, the third thing I want to say is that this kind of stuff does work. It works in London. They have extensive CCTV footage systems, but you don't just need the CCTV cameras. You need people operating that. You need electricity to be uninterrupted at all of those particular uh, CCTV stations. You need that footage to be stored. You need people to scroll through that footage. There's an, an infrastructure that exists beyond just the security camera that you need for that particular system to work. And if you watch a few of those UK crime series, you'll see that they have headquarters just dedicated to making sure that they can get all of the footage on time and use it for convictions, which I don't think we necessarily have. And finally, I think that everyone has to be careful whenever procurement is mentioned because of the history of corruption, the extent of corruption. I mean, if you remember, there was a massive uh, procurement scandal of 431 um, million um, in the city of Johannesburg and Gauteng in relation to education, where they just went in and they fumigated schools for nothing because they had been closed in the name of ending COVID. A lot of money goes into the hands of service providers who are politically linked in the name of technology, safety, health. And it's important that journalists ask tough questions to all of the politicians who are involved in these kind of procurements. And to be quite honest, I think that Sakina really had the right reaction 
when it comes to the mayor in this respect. Anyway, what, what do you think? Do you think he's on top of his numbers and on top of the situation? Do you think that the CCTV procurement plan is legitimate or do you think that it's a money? Let's have a conversation. You have Johannesburg. I wouldn't tell you tentatively how many cameras are there in the city of Johannesburg because some of the cameras, they belong to the private sector. Some of the cameras, they belong to business that is in the inner city. And, 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 and we are just... I'm talking about the ones that belong to the city, the ones that you have control over as the city of Johannesburg. I, I, don't, I don't have that number. So that memorandum of understanding that you entered into with the private sector a few weeks ago, how many cameras are you talking about there? The memorandum of understanding that you are making reference to, it was the JMPD mm -hmm. uh, street cameras. How many cameras? I don't have it from the top of my head. All right, uh, what we'll do is we'll leave it there.